Here's what my roof rack's going to be. It is 56 wide by 11 foot 7, I believe. We'll see. I'm not going to get you too close to my welds. They ain't that good. Here's my legs for the roof rack. Drilling a hole over 2 inches in, and then about 12 inches in. Here is what some of it looks like. Here's the leg, goes up and attaches. I got four of the six done. I just got them tack welded. I'm gonna weld the end of this closed. So I'm drilling down into the cap. And you can kind of see a bolt like right there. Four right there, across that spar. There's four across this spar. There'll be four more across the very front. All right, let's talk about the stuff I've messed up. So from here over, cantilevered over the cab. With the one by one 16 gauge tubing, it was very bouncy. It wouldn't have worked. So I added. A little kicker from there from the cap to here or that kicker is just a little too long or what I don't know but it's very still very bouncy so now I got some one by two tubing I mean, they didn't have 16 gauge so I got 14 gauge and I ran it on both sides I'm trying to eliminate putting another one down the middle I wish I would have made this whole thing out of one by or inch and a half by inch and a half probably. I don't know what size metal to pick. I'm just playing around. We'll see. I got these capped off. Got those welded on. I think this, I'm just going to drain these smooth and fill this top one with caulk because I definitely don't need to weld that whole thing solid all the way down. And then the bottom, I'll just leave alone. I'll do a little bit probably do every 18 inches or something like that make sure I got every 18 inches on the bottom and I still gotta weld all these up but I'm waiting to lay it back flat it's getting there all right this thing's sitting upside down now I got all these pieces that are gonna attach to the cap capped off grinded and then I gotta it's actually gonna be a lower piece once I flip it over it's gonna mount the lights to it that's the profile of it. I gotta get everything cleaned up so I can weld it. And then I got a crap load of grinding to do. Alright, now I'm at this point. I got all these bars welded on, or tacked on. I'm gonna want one more spine down the center. Make it easier to strap stuff on. And to hopefully make it more rigid. And I'm gonna set it on the truck, see if it helped. And then I gotta do all my light tabs. I got six lights going across the front. I got a little light going in this little, this little hole facing sideways. And then the passenger side is gonna have an awning. So I'm gonna end up putting a light right on the corner of the truck itself. Um, that'll be wiring and stuff will be another video. Here's the step I'm at now. I got a lot of these welds ground down. It'd be good enough for paint. Got, got it flipped over. Here's my mounts for my lights on the front. One by two tubing that I used for the side. Some little pieces I had left over. Fortunately, I had to go buy like a five, a four foot piece because I didn't have enough. I only had enough to make four. So those are gonna end up on the front. Pretty much there. All the way down. Gonna be six of them. Gonna make two more of these now. I, uh, I drilled this hole straight through with a half inch drill bit. And then I took a hole saw, drilled this out. I didn't go, well, I didn't go all the way through with this hole to the next, to the other side. 
and just barely poke through so I can see the middle. Drilled this out with a hole saw and I just connected them and I still got a little grinding to do. Clean them up on the inside. Probably have to get something smaller like a Dremel or something in there. But that's what I'm going to use. I think it'll be alright. This is a very bad way on how to put a roof rack on top of the truck. It was heavy. I had to stand on the side of the cab so I didn't cave it in. I had to stand on the side of the cab so I did not cave it in. It was just the wrong way to go about it. The whole thing. This is a little bit better way to do it. I'm glad I did this instead. Just hang it from the roof with some straps and drive out from underneath of it. Good to go. Alright, here's where I'm at. And everything primered. I tried one of these heavy duty stripping pads to clean all the metal up. I wire brushed all the welds. I cleaned all the metal with denatured alcohol. And now I'm using self etching primer. And then I'm going to use black rust oleum paint when I'm done. Huh? Two more coats of primer and we'll go from there. This is a pain in the butt. Painting all this. I get underneath and all that good stuff. I'll get it. Now the point I'm at now. I got it all primered. Let it dry overnight. I'm going to start painting it. Matte black. Fusion. All in one. I went ahead and did primer first. I watched some other YouTube channels. I used that self etching primer so we'll see how this painting goes i know i can't wait to get my garage cleaned up it's a disaster right now get this done now and i'll have a nice pretty roof rack on the truck on the top of the truck all right now i'm putting foam on here it is high density qu quarter inch thick foam I'm going to put it on each one of these feet. And I'm going to put it on here. Hopefully I'll keep from scratching. We'll see what happens. It's going to go on tonight. It's hovering. Here is the rack installed with the OVS 270 awning on the passenger side. I wanted to make it so if I back in a campsite or something, everything's to the passenger side like a camper. The other side of the rack has... The shower, the OVS shower tent. Here's the cantilever. Try to get you a front view. Sun's a little low right now. There's the front view. Um, I think my little one by two looks pretty good. It's actually not too terrible. Hopefully it it stays up there good. Here's how I mounted the 270 awning. With the U-bolts. I think I'm going to end up getting some 5 16 bolts and bolting it through. Um, the other one is bolted through with quarter inch bolts. Stainless steel bolts. So, I haven't made up my mind yet. But we'll see. I don't like these sticking up. I wanted to keep this flat. That way if I want to throw anything up there. I possibly plan on putting some 200 watt solar panels underneath of this i know the rack is going to block it a little bit but it'll be all right and then here's the way it's mounted to the to the cab to the cap so it's not too bad so thanks for watching the the rack build stay tuned for a lot more upgrades to this thing i got an air system i got the back so i can sleep in it there's still a lot of work to do. It'll get there. Hopefully by spring it's all ready to go. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See ya.